I have two questions for you. Are you ready for VR? And maybe more importantly, is VR ready for you? Hi, I'm Eric Franklin here at GDC 2014, and today I'm taking a first look at the very latest version of the Oculus Rift VR headset. This latest version of the Oculus Rift has all the improvements we saw at CES 2014 of the Crystal Cold version. That includes a low persistent OLED display and 960 by 1080 resolution for each eye. The external camera now has improved tracking. It'll now track if you lean your, your head forward or if you tilt to the side laterally. Also at GDC 2014, Oculus debuted its own tracking camera. My impressions after playing the uh, Couch Knights and ETH Valkyrie for a few minutes is uh, it's pretty immersive experience, especially ETH Valkyrie. Um, I think that Couch Knights is kind of a unique take on, you know, just kind of a, uh, a beat em up or brawler, but you know, you're in this kind of virtual environment, you're looking around, but you're controlling a character. It's not a first person perspective, you're kind of a third person perspective of this character, but you can see your avatar, who's a person sitting down in, uh, you know, in a couch in a living room somewhere. So you can look down, you can see your legs, you can see your feet and stuff like that. Uh, you can actually see your hands holding an Xbox controller. That's kind of no. cool. But you know, oh, yes. you're controlling the character yes. moving around like this kind of living room environment. Um, it, you know, it's, it's pretty basic. It's not a game. It's a tech demo. Uh, it's just to show like what's what the Oculus Rift is capable of. It was pretty fun. Um, I think I was more impressed with Eve Valkyrie just because it uh, relies more on your head movement to kind of to play the game. You know, in the Couch Knights demo, you can look around the the room and you can see where your character is going, you can see where the other character is going. But in Eve Valkyrie, it's, it's definitely essential that you kind of look up to, to spot fighter jets and stuff like that, or spaceships, and uh, you know, to lock on them and fire at them. It felt comfortable to, to put on my head, you know, I, I actually tried these, uh, the prototype of the Sony uh, Project Morpheus, and I felt like that was putting a lot of pressure on my nose, and this one doesn't put any kind of pressure on my nose, which I'm very thankful for. Uh, it was comfortable, it's light, uh, it has now has a USB uh, 3.0 port on it, has a power button on it. So this is available for developers right now, it's a development kit, you can buy it for 350 bucks right now, it'll ship in July, but Oculus maintains that this, is, this isn't something that's ready for gamers yet. This is for developers, this is, so you know, if you're gonna if you're thinking about buying this, you know, you probably, you know, don't expect the most polished experience. They're still working on it. There's still a lot of stuff they need to figure out that's not ready for release. They don't know what the final consumer price is going to be. They don't know what the final, final consumer date of release date is going to be. So, you know, if you think about buying it, keep that stuff in mind. Once again, I'm Eric Franklin, and this has been a first look at the Oculus Rift Virtual Reality Headset.